I'll give you Tua or I'll give you Jalen Hurts. You got to pick between the two. Wow. Which offense do I get to run? You're starting your team. There's no offense yet. Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think I might take Mike McDaniel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I mean, so, so here's, here's one of the things a defensive coordinator in the league said to me about Tua. Said that he thinks he's the next Drew Brees because he, his ability to read things so quickly and they're playing in that West Coast offense and he's always been a footwork guy. The thing I loved about him coming out of Alabama and everybody always wants to talk about arm strength and it's so overdone. I mean, you have to have a certain level of arm strength in order to play in this league. He has that. But then it's the ability to process quickly like Brock Purdy is doing in San Francisco in the same offense process quickly and throw the ball to windows. You're not throwing it to a guy. He is not out there throwing it to Jalen Waddle. He is throwing it to a five by five window on that deep in cut and basing it on the footwork that he has. And Tua is one of the best I've seen coming out. And the comparison to Drew was a, was a, a pretty good one. Yeah. A guy who nobody talked about his arm strength, right? but his ability to process, get the ball out of his hand, throw it in the right window, anticipate throws, all those kinds of things. So I do think that Tua, while maybe if he were in Buffalo, would not be what Josh Allen is, you know, because you've got to have the huge arm and a big hand and bad weather and all those kinds of things. But playing in Miami, playing in great weather and playing in this style of offense, I'll take Drew Brees all day in that style. And, and I think that's, that's the fit. And in Philadelphia, you know, you've got a team that's built around their offensive line and their ability to run the football. And we're going to see because Miami struggled a little bit against Carolina trying to, to, you know, run the football there or stop the run there. So this, this style of offense, this run first approach in Philadelphia, that as soon as you start playing the run, they've got Devontae Smith on the outside and AJ Brown. Now you got those guys one-on-one. -on -one. That's a headache. That's a problem out there. So I, the quarterbacks are where they should be. I don't know you flip-flop these two quarterbacks, and it makes much sense.